Hello and a very warm welcome to Swedish Racing. I'm Annette Lennon. We're here at headquarters today for a massive day of racing and a lovely turnover, $10.5 million up for grabs. In our first uh, leg, as you can see here, we have joint favourites, two Regal Face and three Tell Me A Story. Those two are level pegging it. Look at this, off the bend they come and nobody's going to give an inch. It's a hard fourth thing. But the beauty is Tell Me A Story gets up on the outside, but look at number two Regal Face on the inside, fighting back. And and neither of these horses want to lose this race, but unfortunately it is not a dead heat. And tight though it was, the win goes to number three, Tell Me A Story. And the goop there, the odds 240, were off and running at $9. In our second leg, this is a grade one international for five-year-old championship race. And uh, number one, Reedley Express there is the huge favourite of the day. And he comes belting off the bend there out in front. They opened up very, very fast in this race. And he's still flying it. That's Reedley Express at this stage now. Coming out, number five is Treasure Cronus. That's Jerry Reardon's favourite horse. And he's coming flying home, but it's all done and dusted. The big, big favourite, number one, Reedley Express, adds to his account and wins here for John. Conti of the odds 108, the value 960. And on to the third leg, number two, a Zenit a Brick is the favourite. Would you ever look at the goop there? He's outside, he's nearly falling out of his, his sulky there, looking around him, and he's actually starting to taunt the others and make fun of them. But that is number two, Zenit Brick. Uh, number one officer CD had led throughout, but the goop now gets to work, and Zenit Brick is sent about his business. Uh, coming home strongly is number 10, Queer Fish, but it was two, the favourite there, a Zenit Brick, and a big laugh from the goop there, winning his second leg and uh, his second leg it was the third leg at odds of 237 the value now $13 this is our fourth leg uh, and the favourite the big favourite gallop from the start now this is the Brig Grade 1 Grand Prix uh, Louisette and there's over $239 to the winner and uh, Droll de Jet in front has led throughout uh, first over is number 8 that's Monarch Newman farther out that's number 1 born in the USA down the inside 3 Gareth Bocco what a dash for the line it was tight again there, but it goes to the French. Number two, Droll de Jet, Pierre Vercus, and the odds were 19.49, and the value shoots up to $132. This is our fifth leg, and it's number uh, six, High Spirit, in front, and the favourite. Uh, first over is number 12, uh, Marciano, and now charging up on the outside is number four, MT Joinville, and this is John McConcio, and of course he's looking, uh, he's on a retrieval mission, having galloped with the big favourite in the race before, and he comes home in splendid isolation there, and that is number four, MT uh, Joinville, and the John McConcio, the odds 584, and the value is now 240. $49. Two legs left to go. And uh, here we have in the sixth leg, number three, a Balsa Palema leads them up in the rear in the wing mirror, though out wide is our favourite. That's a General uh, Bianco in between horses, number four, uh, Monfalcon. And oozing confidence here is Peter Untersteiner. But all of a sudden, number two starts coming at him. That's Super Xantos. And even more dangerous out ten, Linus Boy comes charging up just before the line. But he holds on on the line there. The favourite, a General uh, Bianco, Peter Untersteiner, the odds 191. The value is now a mere $294. This is the last leg, and Vamp Cronus, a joint favourite with number four, Hard Times. Hard Times has now dropped back to third, and Vamp Cronus is running away here off that final bend like her tail is on fire. And at this stage, really, there is no contest. It is uh, Vamp Cronus is going to win the rest nowhere. But Vamp Cronus there coming flying home in the hands of... Uh, Bjorn Goop, another win for him. Also flying home was number eight, Flying Fortuna and Hazard Bocco. But there it is, Vamp Cronus, the Goop, and the odds, 489. And there it is, folks. If you had all seven correct, $449. Six correct was $6. There's a jackpot carryover to next week in Sheleftio. But we have another V75 tomorrow. And it's Oaks Day and Criterium Day here tomorrow at Sulvala. But that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Come back tomorrow.